Welcome to the Forest Lawn for the Assembly. My name is Hogarth and today I'm going to... Dad, Dad, no, man, no, man, a giant! Come with me, boy. Show me where he is. I'll do even better than that, Dad. We're here to describe exactly where he was last seen. Slowly, at the top of a tall cliff stood the Iron Man. He peered around with his eyes that were as big as a small car. He could see green grass and rocky earth. What is that ahead, he thought to himself. As quick as a speeding bullet, he looked to check that all was safe to proceed. Walking on, the Iron Man moved perilously close to the edge of the cliff. Far beneath him, the wind beat the smooth damp sand as gulls flew over the car lapping sea. One more step, the edge was nearing, danger was looming. Then, crash! 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 The Iron Man's pieces lay as still as rocks on the beach below. Then all was calm. Nothing could be heard but the crashing of waves. Between the crashing dark sea waves, the Iron Man sunk deep and deeper into the sparkling sea. Confused and petrified, the seagulls stared at him, wondering who or what this colossal one-eared giant was doing, stepping deeper into the overflowing sea. Beaming further into the bottomless, boundless sea, the Iron Man heard the stunning chirping of fluffy white seagulls. As confused as a snail who can't find its shell, he patiently continued to look for his shiny metallic gear. The scent of fresh sea air traveled through his short black nose as waves continued to push their way up above the iron and glittering, gleaming, glowing armor. Cautiously, Hogger swam and drove as fast as he could in the damp, cold, misty weather all the way to the foggy forgotten hill where the first Iron Man was last seen. Clutching his seatbelt, Hogan peeked out of the window only to see gigantic eyes staring back at him, glowing red, infrared and then green. Suddenly there was a noise as loud as a thousand drums on speakers. Above all the trees was a great iron head that smelt like a rusty a hundred year old car. The noise of the Iron Man's footsteps was spine chilling. Hogarth could see sweat running down his dad's hot, perspiring body as his clothes clung to his skin. Worrying about what was going to happen, Hogarth was gripping tightly on the car handle. Jeff the farmer looked calm like all was going to be fine. Bursting out of the car, Hogarth tried to look for the ginormous creature, but he couldn't see anything in the dark, misty sky. Shaking with fear, he could smell toxic oil seeping from the creature. In the misty sky, the Iron Man finally came into view. <coughs> and so Hogan and his father went to track the Iron Man. Shut the Iron Man! He needs to be stopped! has been decided. 
He must be stopped. And so the farmers began to dig a hole and carefully covered it with fresh soil. They, they placed the shiny red lorry on the other side of the hole to lure the Iron Man into the trap. This will stop him now. Now we wait. Covering 
a warm, dusty suit of armor tumbling down a hill of shiny cars. The Titanic Iron Man devolved a creaky cockpit at the top of the endless pile of junk. The 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 immense Iron Man gnawed on an aged, rusty submarine with its propeller still spinning. A speeding, spinning, corroded rollerblade falling down a hole. The Iron Man ate a twisted fridge, a balancing on its crumpled corner. The colossal Iron Man's eyes glimmered as he munched on an amazingly bright, shining white limo sparkling in the sun. The greedy Iron Man gobbled up a splintering slide with rusty nails sticking out of it. A doorless truck with flat tires resting on a stack of exhaust. A long strip of bicycle chain which dangled like a skin. The monumental Iron Man crunched on a broken and shattered window frame, using it as a toothpick. With an appetite of a tiger, the gigantic Iron Man guzzled a new ship which lay at the top of a scrap-filled hill. A colossal wing of an airplane, smiling with every crunch. A stack of tractor pieces, his hand resembling fork ends. The gargantan Iron Man woofed down a brass saxophone as he rummaged around looking for his next meal. <coughs> Thank you for listening to the poor RD and for a solo. Yeah.